On September 2nd, 2018, just one week before the start of the regular season, the Oakland Raiders traded pass rusher Khalil Mack to the Chicago Bears for two first round picks in the upcoming 2019 and 2020 NFL Draft. Later that same day, the Bears announced that a contract agreement has been reached with Mack that set him up to earn $141 million over a six year span. A commitment that the Raiders under new head coach John Gruden were not willing to make. Backed by this deal, Mack exploded in the Bears defense. Totaling 5 sacks, 4 forced fumbles, 1 fumble recovery, an interception and a touchdown in his first 4 games. Arguably the greatest start to a regular season by any defensive player in history. As of week 11, the Bears defense led by Mack leads the league in interceptions with 20, forced fumbles with 17, defensive touchdowns with 5 and ranks 3rd in sacks at 34. This team is on another level when it comes to taking the ball away. With 9 of the fumbles recovered by the defense, the Bears averaged 2.6 takeaways per game. This unit has not been getting anywhere near the respect it deserves. The Bears are on their way to win the NFC North and to build the most dominant defensive unit in decades. One that Midwestern football fans haven't seen since 1985. The trade orchestrated by GM Ryan Pace and new head coach Matt Nagy will go down as one of the best decisions that this organization has ever made, and the starting block of a dynasty. A player like Khalil Mack comes around once in a generation, and letting go of the best player at the second most important position in football is one of many decisions that will haunt the Raiders for years to come. A decision that can catapult the teams involved in opposite directions immediately. The monsters of the midway are back, led by the best edge defender since Lawrence Taylor, and it already feels like they were never gone. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, I recommend checking out my latest video on Chiefs quarterback Patrick Mahomes and the historic season that he is having right now. Please leave a like and consider subscribing to Beyond Football. I'll see you in the next one.